So today we're going to do a really simple task, but a really important and secure based task. We're going to add SAML to our Meraki dashboard. The reason for doing this is because then it allows us to utilize much bigger IDPs like Okta, Azure, Google, etc. But also allows us to build in multi-factor authentication into our login workflows. Now this is really simple. We're going to start with organization and settings. And we're going to scroll down and you'll see that we have authentication here. So we're going to enable SAML SSO and we're going to add an IDP. Now the next bit is something that we have to do in our IDP administration. So let's go there now. So this is the Okta dashboard. Now obviously if you're using a sewer or something else this will be different but as we don't actually have Okta as an example on our documentation the link which is below will run through this now just to show you what's involved. We're going to go to applications and applications. We're going to browse the app catalog and we're going to type in Meraki. And you can see that we've got various things in here. So we're just going to click Cisco Meraki dashboard summer and we'll add the integration. Now, obviously there's a few things that we need to do in here. Now we can actually go ahead and firstly assign some people or groups to this. So I'm going to go to groups, assign and assign to groups. And as you can see, I've already got a group called Meraki admin users. So let's assign that to the applications. We'll have a look at general. There's nothing really that we need to know in here. The only one really that we do need to copy is this to help users log in later. So we can now go up to sign on and you can see that we've got various bits of information in here. So we're going to click edit. Now, the first thing to do is to create an administrator role. So I'm going to call this Meraki admin users hyphen full to indicate full access to the dashboard. The consumer URL will get shortly and we'll leave everything else the same there. Let's click save. What we now need to do is get our SHA-1 certificate information. Now we can do that by clicking more details, certificate fingerprint, and there is our formatted SHA-1 fingerprint. Now let's go ahead and copy that. Whilst we're here, we can also get the sign on URL and the sign out URL. So let's make a copy of those too. Now we are pretty much done here with a couple of exceptions. So we're going to go back to our Meraki dashboard. Now, as you can see, we need our fingerprints. We need our login URL and logout URL too. Let's click save. Now, if we scroll down, we should see the consumer URL that we need. So let's get, copy that and go back to our Okta dashboard. And if we scroll up, we can edit and we can paste in our consumer URL there and click save. Now there's one more thing that we need to do and that is to actually create a SAML role. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go over to organization and administrators. And what we're going to do is to add a SAML role. Now the role we created earlier in the Okta dashboard, we're going to click full and we're going to click create role and click save. Now that should theoretically be all of the work done that we need to do. So let's go ahead and test this. Let's paste in our sign on URL from earlier. As you can see, we're connecting to Meraki, which is a good start. So I'm going to type in the user admin that I created earlier and click sign in and click continue. And there we go. We're now logged in to the Meraki dashboard using SAML. Now, should you wish to, we can go to organization and administrators. We can click SAML login history and we can actually see the full XML that's in here. Now, the most important thing is if you are using a different 
IDP, which doesn't have Meraki by standard in there as an application. The things that you need to look for is this to ensure that we have username and also that we have the role in there as well. So just to recap, we have created an application in Okta, a SAML application, and we've added that to Meraki dashboard and logged in. Thank you.